Herzlich willkommen. Welcome. Today we proudly present a network monitoring tool, which can easily be connected to our industrial automation data center, IADC for short. Our IADC consists of various compatible modules and can be fully customized. We're going to present one of these modules in detail, the monitoring system for the entire IADC. For this purpose, we use the PRTG software. With this software, each individual component of the IADC can be monitored according to the individual requirements of the system administrators. The collected data can be clearly displayed in a visualization, the so-called maps. These maps can be configured flexibly and enriched with data of all display levels. The tool is from the company Pesla and is a highly renowned monitoring software that is already used by more than 500,000 customers worldwide. One of Siemens' strengths is to adapt such state-of-the-art technologies from IT for industry. In line with our principle of customer value co-creation, we work very closely with our customers, but also with the manufacturer and support each other with ideas and requirements. Here's our small IADC demo model. Stefan, can we maybe take a look inside? Could you demonstrate the monitoring? Of course. I have created three overviews for our IADC demo model, which show how versatile this tool makes the visualization of a system monitoring. Let's start with the overview of all IADC components from a hardware perspective. Here we can see how the individual devices are arranged in a map. If there's a problem in one component, it is possible to read directly which other components could be affected as well. This map also clearly shows the concept of the demilitarized zone. The traffic from the Internet is routed through the front firewall to the DMZ host, and from there again through the back firewall. In doing so, IT and OT networks are separated, and the production plant is protected from unauthorized access from outside. Exactly. As the most important data is located in the production plant itself. That's why I created a detailed overview that shifts the focus away from the hardware to the virtualized layer of the system and keeps an eye on it. Our virtual machines are shown here with their access to the plant networks. In the center, we can find the core with engineering and monitoring and control stations. Below, the control level simulated in our demo model via SIMIT, above the domain controller and the operator stations. For our demo plant, we have of course only set up one operator station, so you can see a status at one station. The same applies to the simulation of the plants. We can directly jump to the overview of the device by clicking on the respective icon and see exactly where an error comes from. Here you can see the individual sensors that are assigned to the virtual machine. For example, here the utilization of the memory. If the memory is reaching maximum utilization, I would get a warning here, and later an error. Third, I created a very detailed view of our IADC from behind. As you can see, I have placed the sensors of the monitoring system directly on the visualization of the network interfaces of our devices. This allows us to locate problems in our network directly in the switch cabinet. You said that you can directly see problems in the network here. Could we simulate that right now? What will happen if I pull a network plug now? Sure, no problem. If you unplug it, the respective network interface on the map would turn from green to red. Okay, so now I'm going to pull any plug. Okay. Dann wähle ich mal diesen hier. So, hat ein Stecker gezogen. Let's see if the system recognizes which one. Lass ihn hier hängen. Genau. It takes a moment as the system scans its sensors in fixed intervals. For example, the network that you have just unplugged is scanned every 30 seconds. It shouldn't take longer until we see which plug you have just pulled. Now you can already see a management interface on server 1 is shown as defective. We can also see the matching counterpart displayed as down on the switch. The system administrator can now easily check this connection and isolate the error very well. Of course, our IADC has redundant management networks, so the interruption of a single network connection is not a problem. That's the main advantage of the monitoring system, that it displays a fault in the system which does not yet have any effect on production. In doing so, the system administrator already knows that something has to be done before production even notices. Now, the problem can be fixed without any damage. This significantly increases the availability of the overall system and reduces the risk of system failures.
If I as a customer was interested in this tool, what should I do? The IADC's system monitoring can be booked individually in addition to an IADC. It is important to estimate the size of the system to be monitored. Please contact our pre-sales team for individual advice. The modularity and openness of the PRTG monitoring system also allows for connecting systems from other manufacturers. This means you can monitor your entire IT infrastructure with a single system and do not need to operate separate systems for each manufacturer. For our IADC, we have, of course, prepared templates that already contain the most important parameters of each component and only need to be assigned to the appropriate component. Thanks for the insight, Stefan. In a nutshell, what are the benefits of this tool? It provides customizable monitoring of the entire data center. This increases system availability because I can notice and fix potential hazards before they have an impact on production. The system comes with templates of all IADC components, but is not limited to the IADC, however. It can rather act as a general monitoring system for the entire plant.